Hello students, how are you? Are you fine? Students, the content I prepared for this week is Unit 10 about art and artists from lesson 4 up to 11. This is about modal auxiliary verbs, present simple tense, present perfect tense, past simple tense, adverbs of frequency, and degrees of comparison means comparative and superlative degree. Lesson 4 on your textbook on page 130. Modal auxiliary verbs. The most common modal auxiliaries are may, made, can, could, must, should, will, and would. These verbs help main verbs to express permission, ability, advice, possibility, obligation, and request. May and mate. May and mate are used to express possibility, but may expresses a more probable or a more definite possibility. Means is possible about 50%. Example 1. My grandmother may come today. This means is possible that my grandmother will come today. Mate. Mate expresses a less probable or a less definite possibility. Means is possible about 30%. In other words, mate increases a doubt. Example 2. Jonas might know the girl. Means, perhaps, Jonas knows the girl. May and mate also use to give and ask for permission. However, may is more common than mate for permission. Example 3. Mr. John, may I use your book? This is asking for permission. Mr. Abel, of course, you may. This is giving permission. Mr. Abel, no, I'm afraid, you may not. This is refusing permission. Can and could. Can and could are used to express an ability. Can is used to talk about present ability. Example 1. The child can read and write English. Code. Code is used to express a past ability. Example 2. The man could swim when he was young. Can is also used to give an and ask for permission. Mr. Abel, can I ask you a question? This is asking for permission. Mr. John, of course, you can. This is giving permission. Mr. John, no, I'm afraid, you can't. This is refusing permission. Must. Must is used to express an obligation. Example 1. You must cover the books. Must is also used to express certainty. Example 2. Mr. Abel, Hannah has been working for nine hours. Mr. John, she must be very tired. In this, Mr. John is sure that Hannah is tired. Should. Should is used to give advice. Example 1. You should study hard. It is also used to express an obligation. But it is weaker than must. Example 2. You should be punctual. Students, have you understood? Great. Let me ask you some questions depending on the modal auxiliaries. Are you ready? Okay. Choose the correct answer from the given alternatives. Question number one. You, blank, take your medicine when you feel ill. A, will. B, 
should, C, might, D, would. Let me repeat it. You, blank, take your medicine when you feel ill. A, will, B, should, C, might, D, would. The correct answer is B. Should. Question number two. You blank protect your school materials. A. Must. B. Can. C. Could. D. May. You blank protect your school materials. A. Must. B. Can C code D may the correct answer is A must question number three blank you help me answering the question A should B. Must. C. Can. D. Might. Blank. You help me answering the question. A. Should. B. Must. C. Can. D. Might. The correct answer is C. Can. Okay, students, do similar exercises on your textbook on page 130 depending on the examples given. Now, let us proceed to another lesson, that is present simple tense, past simple tense, and present perfect tense. Present simple tense. The form of present simple tense is subject plus verb 1 or verb s. Present simple tense is used to express a universal truth or factors which are always true. Example. The water boils at 100 degrees centigrade. Present simple tense is also used to express an ability. Example, she dances very well. In addition to that, present simple tense is used to express a habitual action or an activity that we repeatedly do. In this, we may use the adverbs of frequency like always, Every day, usually, often, weekly, etc. Examples Hannah drinks coffee every day. Ali always goes to mosque. The past simple tense. The form of past simple tense is subject plus verb to. The past simple tense is used to express a completed action in the past. In this, we can use the past time expressions like yesterday, ago, last week, etc. Example, I will came from Italy yesterday. The past simple tense is also used to express discontinued past habits. In this case, adverbs of frequency should be used. Example, Ababa often drank coffee. User 2 can also be used to express discontinued past habits. The present perfect tense. The form of present perfect tense is subject plus has or have plus verb 3 or past participle. Present perfect tense is used to express an action has completed but 
the effect is seen until now. Example, she has washed her clothes. This means her clothes are clean until now. Present perfect tense is also used to express an action that has been completed a short while ago. The word just is frequently used to express this action. Example, she has just gone to the meeting. The adverbs of time, yet, already, just, never, are used in this tense. Example, Aaron has already done his homework. Students, is it clear? Excellent. Now, let us do some questions based on the tenses together. Choose the correct answer from the given alternatives. Question number one. The earth blank on its axis. A. Rotate. B. Rotating. C. Rotates. D. Rotated. The earth blank on its axis. A. Rotate. B. Rotating. C. Rotates. D. Rotated. The correct answer is C. Rotates. Question number two. Sarah blank to church every Sunday. A. Gone. B. Goes. C. Went. D. Going. Sarah blank to church every Sunday. A. Gone. B. Goes. C. Went. D. Going. The correct answer is B. Goes. Question number three. John blank the obelisks of Axum last week. A. Visit. B. Visited. C. Visiting. D. Visits. John blank the obelisks of Axum last week. A. Visit. B. Visited. C. Visiting. D. Visits. The correct answer is B. Visited. Question number four. She has blank the floor. A. Cleaned. B. Cleaned. C. Cleaning. D. Clean. She has blank the floor. A. Cleaned. B. Cleans. C. Cleaning. D. Clean. The correct answer is A. Cleaned. Good. Students, I hope to have a nice week. Goodbye.